Today I'm painting angel codes and this is one that I did the other day and um, you can see the iridescent paint it's gorgeous and so I'm going to channel Archangel Raphael and I haven't done it like this before um, I think it's going to be lots of fun and I'm basically opening up the forum to you guys to you know if you have a question uh, pop it in and just pop it in let me know so what this is one that I did Raphael. yesterday two days ago and I am just absolutely loving the way that that turned out with the colors and everything. I think it is just stunning. So what I did was I've actually got a few different backgrounds and today I'm just going to work on <clears throat> these backgrounds that I've done. I've got a bunch of rainbows and then I've got this one which is super angelic looking which also has lots of sparkles in it. And yeah, so if you have any questions for me about my process or working with Archangel Raphael or any of the paints that I'm using today, I'm using these amazing color uh, paints that are just absolutely stunning in the light. You can see that the colors are just so shimmery and pretty and I think they're perfect for this type of work. And other than that, I'm going to just ask Archangel Raphael to come in and we will start doing some painting. So we work in a blended voice, which means whenever I channel spirit, it's, um, it's like a communication that's happening in my, with my higher self and in my consciousness. And so you will hear the voice come out through me. Sometimes it's different. Sometimes it sounds like me. It depends on the energy of whom I'm channeling. And, um, oh, I wanted to share this one too. This is another one that I did. I'm not sure if that's going to show the the sparkle on it or not, but there we go. All right, so if you wanna take a breath with me and just relax and get grounded and let that energy come in, and I'm gonna ask Archangel Raphael to come down and hang out with us in this energy and this little, as people love to use this word container, but I think it's a good word because that's really what this is. We're all sort of in this together, whether you're joining me live or on the replay. So let's just take a big breath and on the out breath, just imagine any of the tension or stress or craziness or intensity that you've had in the last couple of days or weeks or months or <laughs> let's face it, years. <laughs> just focus on it and let it just like drain out of your body right into Mother Earth. So let's take a big breath in and release it. Oh, that felt good. Let's do that again. There. Well, I don't know about you, but I felt like so chillax all of a sudden. So, dearest Archangel Raphael, I ask you to step forward into this wonderful space and I can paint with you and we can answer questions for others and um, thank you so much for coming through and I ask for the energy to be nice and level because I feel my body going into channeling mode and I'm starting to sway and I don't know how I can paint at the same time. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. For those of you who are not painters, um, I'll just share a little bit about some of the paints and what I'm doing here. Usually what I'll do is I'll go and give these a little bit of a spray because the water will actually um, help to activate the binder that's in the paint. And so you will actually get more pigment on your brush when you're painting. So it's always a good way to start. Or you can just wet it, which I'm going to have to do because I have mislaid my spray bottle, which is probably in the plants somewhere. So I'm going to get it good and wet. And you know, you don't need super fancy brushes. If you are someone like me who is sensitive and you are... Um, you know, really aware of the other conscious beings on the planet, you might want to go for brushes that are not made from animals. Mine are all synthetic. And um, you can get a variety of brushes, whether they're expensive or not expensive. And really just play around till you get something you want. So, I mean, I've got one from the craft store that was two bucks, and then I've got a really expensive one that was around 40 bucks. And I like them both for different, different uses. And uh, really, it's just a matter of playing with what you like until you get something that you're happy with. And um, 
yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm just activating the paints, giving them a bit of water. I don't necessarily know that I'm going to use all of these, but always it's good just to get them wet just in case. And uh, yeah, so <clears throat> some of the ones that are mass produced, such as this one here, which if you're into painting and you like sparkly paint, this is the best little palette ever. It's a Prisma Marketing Shimmering Lights. I just love them. And then I've got some that are handmade, which are these guys. I just had these delivered. And these are sparkly because they have mica in them. And these were actually ethically sourced, created, and handmade. So they're, they're beautiful. They're really special and they have a lot of pigment. But today, I'm just going to start doing... Now, if you've hung out with me before, you've seen some of the type of work that I've done. I'm just looking around to see if I have one of the um, codes that are from the... Oh, here's one. This one's in plastic. So this is one of the ones... Hopefully the plastic isn't uh, hiding the codes. This is sort of from the galactic groups. And they have a very different energy and resonance than the angelics. And I don't know what it is about these, why these came out like super thick and very thin, but um, they did. And I think they're really, they're quite remarkable. Oh, I can feel buzzing in me already. A question in All right, if you've got a question go. for me or Archangel Raphael, who is also known as the Angel of Healing and um, whom I've been hanging out with for the past week and doing some and channeling. our last channeling was really fantastic. It was about healing and learning how to get conscious of your energy so that you can release any of the old energies that are creating symptomology in you and it was it was fabulous so let's see what's coming feels like if anyone can feel the energy because I literally feel like my whole body is buzzing right now which is kind of neat I usually have music on too but we will do this without because I'm feeling like these just want to be coming in I find that these angel codes are kind of calligraphic in a way. Oh, what's that doing? That's interesting. And as they come through, I'm not even thinking about it. I'm just letting them go where they want to go. Yeah, these ones are interesting. It's almost like, um, what are those codes? Not the codes, but the symbols for the astrological signs almost is what this feels like and the elements the old style ones and there is a preciseness that is being asked of me on these which i don't usually get with the galactic ones those ones just come out really quickly and this one is like nope it has this curve and that curve so i'm really curious as you guys are watching if these have any meaning to you or if you are feeling any sensations or vibration or anything from it. And if you're catching this, because I'm going to put this on my YouTube channel, if you're catching this on the YouTube video, then please feel free to pop a question in below. And um, Archangel Michael, or Raphael, I should say, well, they're both with me, but right now we're working with Archangel Raphael. He'll be answering through me so that's exciting and if you haven't checked out the youtube channel please do because it's really it's such a it's turning into a really really neat community and people are getting on there and sharing their ascension experience ascension as far as being a starseed or a human having uh, this experience of sort of waking up and trying to figure out what the heck is going on and hey i've got all these choices that i didn't even know i could have and how do we deal with that? It's it's quite fun. Oh, look at this one. I do find if I'm talking or I'm listening to music and my mind is preoccupied a little bit, then these seem to come through in a bit of a different way. Yeah, that's pretty neat, eh? This really does look like an astrological symbol. Yeah. Oh, there's some more coming. Okay. 
one's going to be Jig Jaggy. Interesting. So the really neat thing about mica is that you can get a very translucent coverage with it so that it's very sheer and just adds a little bit of sparkle if you're doing a regular painting and you want to highlight something and it's very very subtle or you can go you know full bore I'll show you some of my test samples here and um, you can see that it's one color in the light and another color as soon as you shift it and it's a lot of fun to just play with the colors but also how sheer and opaque it can be in both ways so this is reminding me of that right here because you can see the purple through it and this has got a line that's going to go straight through and almost like a point at the end here i am so having a bob ross moment anybody else <laughs> paint it like that. I could just say I'm going to paint a little tree right there, a happy little tree. Happy little angel code. Archangel Raphael is laughing at me. Because <laughs> I'm being silly and that's the best way to do it, you know. you got to just enjoy things and not try to take it so seriously. So I'm hearing in Archangel Raphael's voice a big welcome to all of you that have come forward to enjoy this energy as it is being presented. Know that you are loved and cared for always. If you wish to work with me, I am here always. You need only ask and I will be there. It is my absolute pleasure to be here working with you today. And do know that the energy that is coming forward is not necessarily in these paintings. Not necessarily in Tanya's voice as she is speaking to you. But the resonance and the vibration that is in this transmission. And as you know, the time is relative. So whether you are in this moment live, as you would call it, uh, versus being on the replay it is the same. You are still part of the group of energies that are connecting and intersecting together in this now moment as we come together and work towards awareness and healing both of the physical body but all of the bodies that make up your beingness all of the bodies that make you your unique self. All of the energies that are unique to you. And so I am very pleased to be here and I do ask if you have questions for me to please share them in the remembrance that in sharing for yourself you are sharing for many others who may not feel that they are able to speak at this time for whatever reason. They may be shy or not yet comfortable to ask, but in sharing your knowledge and your experience, you are doing so for the collective. This is what I was speaking of yesterday to Tanya as we were working together that there is a connection between all and if you are here in this now moment you are one who identifies as a highly sensitive being which means that you are one who wishes to nurture and care for all of those on the planet at this time whether they are human animal plant or the planet herself However, it is important to know that you must take care of yourself as well because many of you put so much energy into others. It is your instinct and your nature. And part of your journey here at this time is to learn how to do so for yourself as well because you cannot, as you know, 
care for others if you are empty. And that is vital for you to understand and to recognize. So I do ask that you take a moment to be conscious of that as you are going through your current existence in this now moment and to allow yourself to be a cheerleader for yourself as well and to know that you have done so much, so, so much, dear one. And for now, I will step back and enjoy these wonderful energies that are coming through. Part I am sharing, part which are Tanya herself, although she doesn't yet feel confident that that is true, but that is the truth. <laughs> Thanks, Raphael. <laughs> you are most welcome. Uh, but I do take a step back. If you have questions for me or her, uh, you can share those now. And I will be here, my energy and resonance, in this frequency, this recording, and the work that she is doing. And I will step back now. Oh my gosh, that was trippy! <laughs> well, hello, it's me, Tanya, back here again. That was cool. I haven't done that live before, so that turned out beautiful, didn't it? Look at that. Wow, I'm really loving that. Oh, someone was saying it's very magical. Well, thank you. Um, I'm not sure if you meant Raphael or me or the painting, but thanks. Yeah, this is fun. What do you think? Should we do another one? I think we should do another one. I'm feeling the energy to do another one. That's cool. I love how that turned out. I'm just going to water this down a bit. These are super duper saturated super saturated pigments. Um, by that I mean there's a lot of color in them. Whereas some, like these guys here, which is not part of this set, it's a different one, it's a cheaper set, and they don't have as much pigment. So if you're ever thinking about watercolor, I always would suggest um, play around, see what you can, find that you like, start with a cheaper set, but do know that you're not gonna get as much pigment which means the colors aren't going to be as dark and saturated. This is just a, an example, not an, like I didn't actually do it with a cheaper set, but this is what you would see sort of as a difference between a saturated set and a, and a cheaper set. But if you do like it and it's something you want to explore, then the cool thing is you can always get these what are called dot sheets, which I love because then you get to play with, um, so this is a dot sheet from Daniel Smith. And what they do is they put a dot of pigment on the paper and then you can play with it and you get way more paint out of these little dots than you would ever think. And um, it's so worth it because these tubes can go anywhere from $10 to $45 a piece. And so this way you find out exactly what colors that you like or don't like, how they work together. Um, and so I bought, I think the whole line of dot sheets was $30 as opposed to you'd probably pay $3,000 for all the tubes. And then you would never use them, right? Not that anybody would ever buy all those, but <laughs> um, then you get to play. Anyway, that's just an aside. You know, I used to be an artist for a long time, so this stuff is in my brain. And I like to share. I love sharing information. Because, you know, that's the thing that makes me happy, especially when I'm having a rough time. And can I just say, for those of you that are joining, oh my God, the last couple of days, you are so amazing that you made it through it. I'm amazed I made it through it. It has been wacka daka schwacka And that's, you can quote that one. <laughs> this one, so I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna take another one of these rainbows, I think. For those of you that are not into um, the science stuff, um, I'm going to have a little share, which is we just had some of the most intense solar radiation we've ever had. Um, one of the biggest solar flares ever just happened. And that can mean that there's a lot of energy that gets amped up on the planet. Because, of course, we are water, right? So we forget that we're so connected to the earth and the animals and nature and everything. And it's so important to remember that we are. We're all in this together, all of us. We all need each other. And so when there is something like solar radiation happening or a shift in the planet with um, 
the moon or the solar bodies, it creates a gravitational pull and pulse depending on what's coming through. And so we're highly affected by that. So if you have been feeling completely flat out exhausted over the last couple of weeks, that's a very um, good reason why. And so there's another surge of energy that's coming. It could be coming in in the next day or so. So if you feel like you're getting like flat out exhausted or really amped up or all this stuff that you thought you released and then you were done and you did all this work and now it's back and what's going on, that can all just be part and parcel of that energy coming through. So the cool thing is we have a heads up now and um, we can take some time and actually think about what it is that we need to do to take care of ourselves. And um, I hate using self-care because it's such a cliche, but ultimately it is about that, right? We're just taking care of ourselves and making sure that we are able to live our life without being too, too disrupted. But also understanding that we are interconnected to all the energies that are happening. We're not independent of it. And so that is... Um, that is something that's happening. So, yeah, so that's really what I was asking for here. Can we connect in and see about that? And in my head, I'm hearing Raphael and he's saying, of course, of course, just paint. So I will. So I've just asked Raphael if we could do a painting to help with some of the energy that is coming through um, and manifesting um, as challenges on, on the mental sphere because, you know, there's a lot going on, a lot of stress, a lot of people going through change, a lot of polarity on the planet, and um, it's very easy to take that on, especially if you're sensitive. So. Um, that's what I'm hoping these are going to help with. Let's see here. I think someone's just asked a question, so I'm just going to take a second. Oh, wait, what's this doing? Like that? And then it's going to arc. These are the most interesting shapes. I just am fascinated by how every time I do channeled paintings, they're completely different. Um, let me see. Oh, it's just people popping in. Okay. I think, Raphael, do you have anything that you want to say to people about what they can do? And I'll continue to paint and you can chat if you want to. Well, yes, I'm very happy to step forward and speak to you all today. Um, here is an interesting moment in your humanity. And many of you are as Tanya was saying, finding that you are challenged by what is happening in your experience in the world that you have created for yourself. For have no doubt, dear one, you are in fact creating it. And this is part of your awakening, part of the process that you are going through as a human at this time in this experience. You are aligning into the energies of remembering and remembering that you have the option to create so much of your experience. Of course, many of the things that you are able to do are in relationship to those that you have come to the planet with at this time, meaning that you are co-creating. You are creating and experience at the same time. And so you may find that you leave yourself questioning and wondering uh, about the whole concept of manifestation and creating your experience and then finding that it is not particularly what you want. And in those situations, one option is to take a look at what is happening 
around you. So for instance, you may be working at a job that you are not happy with and you have decided you wish to change that. You have spent time focusing on what it is that you would like, the scenario that you wish to enjoy, the energy that you wish to partake in. But you have perhaps also connected with others who will be part of that experience. And so there is a common ground between all of you. And you need to remember that as you're going through this experience, you are all going through that experience together. So it might not perhaps be what you have an expectation of. That perhaps it is one that is created together, one that works for all of you as a whole. For instance, this pandemic that you have experienced was co-created by many of you for many different reasons. And many of you have chosen to experience it in ways that are quite different from those that are around you. And you have done this with intention, dear ones. You have done this as it is creating the space for you to teach by example, as they are teaching by example as well, and giving you an opportunity to go within and look at the energies that you have experienced and deciding if that is what you wish to continue doing or if you wish to try something different, something new. And as you do this, the dance that you have between what you have experienced and what you wish to experience coming forward begins to create itself. And there are many ways that you can experience your time on the earth plane. However, I do encourage you to remember that it does not always have to be very serious. I know that Tanya struggles with that herself, and she does not need to, but it is a way of being that she has become accustomed to, and one that she is consciously aware of, one that she is working on uh, as part of her journey here, as a healer and one who is bringing messages from myself and, for, and from others for you, for many of you on the earth plane at this time. And we are co-creating ourselves in this moment, these energies and codes. And ultimately, they are a co-creation between her and I and all of you that are enjoying this work uh, at a later time. Of course, there is no time, but in this now moment, as this is being created, that energy that you are bringing simply as a viewer is part and parcel of the work together. As I was saying earlier about creating your experience with others, that is precisely what this is. So those of you that have come into this live uh, feed that she is doing on Saturday, will also be part of the energies that are available when this goes to a different audience tomorrow, your Sunday. And those of you that are watching on the Sunday are creating it at the same time. So you can think of time. I am giving an example, Tanya's laughing, because it is a funny example, but I think it's one that is enjoyable, one that she had seen earlier, uh, of pancakes. <laughs> pancakes that are stacked on top of each other, and you can think of uh, your experiences like this, and there are many different realms, because you are, do not forget, dear one, you are a multidimensional being, and you are co-creating, experiencing, living in many places at once. And so that energy, as you are shifting your alignment, your vibration, you are remembering uh, these other places, whether that is consciously or if you are doing through your sleep in the astral realms and going there, 
uh, but also it is part and parcel of the choices that you are making here and there. And as these energies are working together, they are stacked upon each other. And so they are always intersected, interconnected. Uh, that is what this work is about. So while these codes come forward, part of my energy, part of Tanya's, part of yours, it is all together. It is all connected and interconnected. So you can see, in a way, that we are all working together and you are working together to bring calm uh, energy to each other, to allow the frequencies of healing, to allow the frequencies of balance and homeostasis. And working on this energy as a collective. If you are new to these concepts and these words that I am speaking through her, uh, there is much excitement for you uh, much on your journey to begin to explore. And I am delighted to be here as part of that. I am delighted to be able to share my energy with you now in this moment, but also in the frequencies of this work and in the frequencies of the transmissions that have been part of our communication this week. I think for now, I shall step back and allow Tanya to come forward and share her thoughts and ideas. I'm sure she has a lot to say. She always does. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well... I got to say, this is interesting. I've never done this process before live and I've never done this uh, in a way where I'm not sort of in a meditative state. So this is kind of fun. And um, for those of you that are hanging out with me today and enjoying this, thank you. And if you're just new to me or my channel, I'm Tanya and uh, I'm here channeling with Archangel Raphael today. And having um, a discussion about certain topics and painting angel codes. I do not know what this one is about, but I had asked if we could have a bit of a, some healing energy coming into the work for all of us that are having some mental health challenges this week. <sighs> Archangel Raphael said, I always have a lot to say. I guess that's true. <laughs> just highly amused by this whole conversation and concept today here but there we go this is very interesting fun I want to lift it up so you can see the shine but um, it's a little bit wet and um, yeah it's fun so someone asked what are the meanings of the angel codes I don't know that I can actually answer that because I'm channeling them and I'll be honest I don't feel like I'm writing a symbol or a code that has a direct translation. Uh, I'm going to show this painting that I showed earlier if, you ha if you're just joining me and you haven't seen it yet. So this one has these really defined codes and glyphs on them. You can see I'm trying to just get the shimmy so you can see it and um, when they came through, it was just, it's like energy that comes through me out the brush, out my hand and onto the page. So I don't look at one in particular and say, oh, well, this has that meaning and that has that meaning. I'm sure they do to some people, but for me, I'm just, it just feels like a resonance, a vibration. So I sort of feel it as energy that's within my beingness. Does that make sense? I, I hope so. This is one I did earlier. This is the one that I did at the beginning of the live. And um, there's a lot of stuff going on there. It does look like Klingon. You're right. <laughs> For the Star Trek fans. Anyway, um, let's just, I'll just share a little, a little game. So if you look at the, this one for a second, and then look at that one. 
Do you see how they feel completely different? And you might be drawn to one or the other more than, than the other one, and you're not really sure why. You know, it could be the color or the, the shapes, but that's, that's literally frequency. And so that is your frequency calling out and connecting to the frequency of the paintings because like does attract like. So the ones that are similar to your frequency or are vibrating in a resonance and a frequency that is similar to your own, uh, you will naturally gravitate to. And this is part of the whole ascension process, which is exactly what's happening uh, on the earth right now. And as you are somebody that's watching this, you're definitely someone going through it. Uh, but with awareness, which is always fun and challenging. Yay, I'm aware. Yay, I'm aware. <laughs> but um, yeah, so resonance and frequency, these concepts are thrown around a lot. And if you're not 100% sure what the heck that means, feel free to ask me in a direct question. I can talk about that as well. But yes, I find that frequency, don't forget, is also how our eyes perceive color. So there is a frequency of, of light that you would have with um, a blue, for instance, versus a frequency of light that you're going to have with the pink. And even for those people that are very skeptical of spirituality or uh, anything to do with uh, angelics or galactic or whatever energies are on the earth or people that are channeling my, like myself and many, many others. It is really just a frequency and a resonance. And what you are attracted to, even if you don't understand it, is where your resonance is. So um, as someone who is a crystal caretaker and I have my little online crystal shop, and I've worked with them for so long, and they all have their own energies and frequencies. And some people, you don't have to believe in the, in the concepts of it, and you don't have to believe in healing crystals. Um, I really encourage people to use a skeptical eye. Um, take time, do research, and ask questions, and you know, make sure you find something that feels like your truth before you go forward. You don't just, you know, I wouldn't say you don't just, but I would suggest that you... Use your discernment and don't just look at something and say, oh, this person said that, it must be true. Well, so this is what people that are skeptical about that type of healing will say. Oh, it's not true. It could be this, it could be that. But if you hold up a stone or a crystal and say, well, here's one that's black and here's one that's blue. Here's one that's pink. Every person will be drawn to one or the other and they might not know why. And again, that's that whole concept of frequency and resonance and attraction. And so even if you're skeptical of the healing properties of crystals or whatnot, or channeled art, there might be a draw for some reason, and that is enough. And so, especially as those of us that are light workers and way showers and change makers and all of the different wonderful spiritual tags that you wanna throw on things these days, we are really here to have our own experience. We are not here to convince other people to have the same experience we are. And I think that's a really important thing to be aware of because there is a tendency when you first come into this awakening that there is more going on than you ever knew that there was. There is an option for you to create your own reality based on the choices that you make. There is a world full of information and ideas out there that you can play with. I mean, it's just infinite, right? And it's really, really, really exciting. But there is a tendency for a lot of people that are new to it to feel like they want all and sundry to be there with them. And everybody needs to know and you're not doing it right. And, you know, you'll see a lot of this stuff on the Internet about you know, people aren't aligned unless they're high vibe. Well, excuse me, but that's a bunch of... In my personal opinion, I think we are all going through ascension process. We are all going at our own rate, and that's okay. You know? And that's an important thing to remember. So, back to this painting, by the by. What are we thinking about these codes that are coming through? I am finding this so fascinating. They're so different. They're so completely different than what I was doing with the um, 
galactic ones. Ooh. It's kind of a really interesting thing to be channeling uh, the energy of a higher frequency or higher dimensional being because it's like you get the, the frequency, the energy, the resonance, the juice of that being going through your body, but you don't necessarily remember what they said. <laughs> Sometimes I'll listen to these transmissions that I'm doing and I'm like, I don't even remember saying that. But then again, it's a blended thing, right? So it's not always, um, it's not always me there. It's them speaking through me. Oh, this is so cool. Okay. I feel like it's almost done. Where's this one go? Like this. And then down. That looks like a sickle. That's really interesting. Cool. I'm all full of excitement and juice now. <laughs> Yay. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. And um, yeah, thanks for being you. Thanks for being on the planet at this time and doing all the work you're doing. It's phenomenal. And I'm, I'm so in awe of you guys. Okay. Catch you later.